everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make high definition swooshes. So like this one, or like this one, or like this one. Now with this effect you can create all different kinds of patterns, you've just got to play around with it. So first things first, you want to go to File and New, then you want to make sure you've got the width to 2000 and the height to 2000, and the resolution to 300. Make sure you've got the colour mode to RGB and then press OK. Then you get this white blank layer. Double click the layer to unlock it and then create a new blank layer on the right hand side at the bottom. Click it. Then you want to select the pen tool and basically drag the pen and create all different effects that you want. Now I'm just uh, mucking around here, you don't have to follow mine, uh, what I'm doing at the moment. Just create your own pattern, and then once you've got the pattern that you want, basically you want to right click it, and go to stroke path. Make sure you've got the simulate pressure clicked, and the tool as brush. Then click OK. And it basically thickens the... Uh, path up. Then from there you want to go to Windows, Actions, and then you want to create a new action. So click on the icon. Now we're going to name this action basically something that we can remember. So let's go to, I don't know, um, turn, something like that. And then press record. Now this is going to record everything that we're doing in Photoshop. So let's close that dialog box down. Now from here, we're going to go to uh, the rectangle tool. Right click, and then press free transform. Then we're going to change the degree, which is up the top, to two. So it basically turns it by two degrees. Then double click it, to hold it into place. Then from there you want to select the pen tool again, right click the image and go to stroke path, make sure you've got the simulate pressure clicked on and the tool as brush again, then click OK. Then go back to window and actions and press stop and now it stops recording. Now we're going to tie this up pressing the arrow to tidy up. Now click the turn uh, action that we just made and then click play basically this is going to make the same thing that we've done over and over again but basically you can click it as many times as you want until you get the desired effect that you want and then click the little X button to close that panel down so you've got something like that then from here you want to create a new layer then go back to your other layer, the one with the pattern on, and press Ctrl and I, and then go to the first layer, and press Ctrl and I again, basically this, this inverses it, then go back to the top layer, go to your gradient tool, make sure you've got your rainbow one selected, then click OK, then basically drag the gradient tool, sideways like this, vertical, and you've got something like that, then you want to go and turn this to multiply, and then there you go, you've got your own pattern, now you want to get this uh, pen marks away, so you want to go to the little arrow button here, the move tool, and then basically move the pattern away, then click on the layer again and then press delete and then you can move it now when you move it it will change colours because you've got the rainbow layer behind so it changes all different colours so then once you've got your effect then you're basically done now as I said you can create many many different effects with this so all you have to do is just play around with the pen tool and get your desired effect and then basically you're done so I hope you liked this tutorial, please comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.